Have you ever noticed when you put a warm bottle of soda into your refrigerator, uh, come back in a couple hours, it's buckled in and it's lost some of its volume? Well, you'll notice that especially if there's a lot of air in, in that bottle. W what you're seeing is the result of thermal expansion, or in this case, thermal contraction. And what that basically says is thermal expansion, as an object is heated, molecules move faster and they gain kinetic energy and they bounce farther away from each other and that results in an expansion of that object. Uh, conversely, when an object is cooled, the object loses kinetic energy. Those molecules are moving slower and they're going to pack together a little bit closer. So we see contraction when an object is cooled. You may have noticed if you have trouble getting the lid off of a pickle jar, for example, you can get it off more easily by running it under hot water for several seconds. That hot water is going to heat up the metal lid and it's going to expand and then you can more easily get it off. Uh, there is one exception. We say most matter expands when heated and contracts when cooled and that one exception is water and specifically when water approaches its freezing point. As water is cooled it will continue to contract and contract but it, when it reaches its freezing point all of a sudden it's going to expand and this is why we see ice floating. Ice has a lower density than does the water surrounding it, pushing it up. Well, Why is that? Well, it turns out that water in its liquid form sticks to itself. Things called hydrogen bonds cause it to have a fairly high density and when it freezes it goes into a crystalline formation where the molecules are actually farther apart. So this, this property of water that when it freezes, it expands, allows life to exist on Earth. Our oceans would freeze in the winter when all that ice sank to the bottom and continue to freeze, but fortunately floating ice provides sort of a greenhouse effect that prevents our oceans from freezing solid. So an important quality of water, the fact that it contradicts thermal expansion at that point of freezing. But for the most part, all other matter expands when heated and contracts when cooled.